Your bug out vehicle could be a very important part of your bug out plan and you don't want to have it not work for you. So what are some of the biggest mistakes you could be making in dealing with your bug out vehicle? Let's take a look at some of those. One of the worst things for a car is to let it sit, not running it or driving it. And driving it is the key thing here. I mean, running it helps, but driving it, really using all of its systems, using its uh, power steering, its braking, whatever other systems it may have, make sure the fluid runs through those hoses and it keeps them moist, keeps everything having run, nothing's built up, nothing's deteriorated just from sitting, because vehicles will deteriorate much more quickly sitting than they will being driven a lot. Uh, it's very hard on vehicles to sit around. So make sure you get it its exercise. You need your exercise. It needs its exercise. You know, use it on a trip every so often. And before you take it out on those trips, inspect it. Do a good pre-trip on it. Make sure it's all up on its fluids. Its hoses are good. Its, you know, rats haven't eaten the wiring. Your tires are good. Your lights are good. All of it's good. And fix what's not good. Do your maintenance on it. Uh, also, get a good accurate reading on the range. Two big mistakes that are oftentimes made on the range calculation of a vehicle are the miles per gallon being what the manufacturer said, especially on an older vehicle. That oftentimes has gone down, uh, especially if you've been letting it sit. You know, if this is just a spare vehicle that you have designated for a bug out, uh, you know, it should still go on out every so often. It should still get driven. And you should get a chance to know what it is, what its mileage is. Record the odometer when you get your fuel. And, you know, fill it all the way up. Record the odometer. Drive it a bit. Record the odometer once you get fuel again. See how many gallons and how many miles and figure out your own miles per gallon on that. And then the other thing is make sure that your fuel in that thing is what you think it is. Because that's another mistake. Sometimes people think that they have so much more fuel than what they actually have and that vehicle doesn't actually have the range that way either. It's really good here if you can actually test drive it to your bug out location. But make sure it has the range to reach your bug out location on one tank of fuel, especially if you're preparing for a situation where there might not be fuel stations operational. Uh, make sure you are prepared that it does have the range to be able to make the trip. And make sure it also fits your gear. Uh, you know, it could be a bad shape, a bad size, not able to handle the weight. You know, don't expect to pack half your house into a little economy car, into a little compact car. You know, I mean, make sure that it will fit your gear, that it's the right shape, that you can actually put things in there the way you're planning on putting them and that they will actually fit. Try test loading it. You know, you don't need to drive it to the bug out location with the load in there. You just need to make sure it actually fits. It, it fits, the geometry's right, the weight's right, that it will fit, it will be you know, make sure your gear will go with you. Um, and make sure you also have a backup, a backup vehicle, a backup plan. You know, maybe you can't afford a spare vehicle. Have a backup plan for what happens when that vehicle doesn't work. Maybe you do need to pack your stuff, not just for a vehicle bug out, but also be prepared to walk if you have to. And it's always good to be prepared for that because your bug out, your backup vehicle, even if you have one, will be at home when your other vehicle breaks down and you might still have to walk the, red, the other half of the way. Have a backup plan throughout every stage of your bug out uh, and make sure that backup vehicle will fit your gear. It has the range necessary to, to be a good replacement. You're maintaining it, maintaining it and inspecting it and you're running it as well and driving it. Make sure it is a good viable backup. Thank you for watching.